Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to run neural network in rapid mind. But before this, let's try to understand what is a neural network. The child watches the animal. Before naming it as a dog, the child has to pass through series of processes. Now let us understand how his thinking process is initiated. First of all, the identification which is being done by the child is, is the animal having the four legs? Now, depending upon this, he will put four probabilities. It can be a chair, table, a monkey or a dog. The second question which arises in the, in the brain is, is the animal having a skin? Yes, the skin is there. Now only the two possibilities are there. Skin and, uh, sorry, the monkey and the dog. Does it bark? Then comes the last possibility that it is a dog. And finally, the child will identify that it is a dog. Now same set of processes are also used in our neural network. This processes are known as hidden layers. This is an input and this is an output. So, depending upon the weights, one of the path will be optimized and will be, and the child will, able, will be able to solve the problem that what this object is. So, these points are known as nodes. So, in our neural network algorithm, these nodes are known as neurons and the path which will decide is known as weights. So this is an input and this is an output. Now let us try to magnify one of the nodes. Say for example, we magnify one of the nodes and we try to see what is happening inside the node. So this is a biological neural network in our brain where uh, we are having dendrites, axon, synapse. Similarly, here also we are having dendrites with synaptic weights, this one. There is a neuron and then an axon. This is an artificial neural network. Now say for example, on one node, there are many weights which are, which are coming. So there is a summing function and there is an activation function. Now each node will multiply with its respective synaptic weights. After summing up, everything will come here in summing junction. Depending upon the value of summing junction, the activation function will get activated. Let us see how. Say for example, x1 into w1 plus x2 into w2 plus x3 into w3 plus xn into wn. This all will go into the summation function. Bias is an intercept. It is a constant. Now, whenever the appropriate value of the summation function is reached, it is just like an on-off switch. It means that if an appropriate voltage is passed, the switch gets on and the activation function will be activated. Now, what can be the activation function? Let's see. The activation functions normally use are sigmoid and 10 inch. These are the most uh, commonly used activation functions. Now, it is not necessary that the child will be able to identify the dog correctly. It may happen that the actual dog is like this and the child has identified like this. And therefore, there is an error. So, this error will be, again, it will be introduced in the synaptic weights. Again, the corrections will be done on the weights. So, if there is any error in actual and predicted, Error updates the neuron to change the weights for proper identification. This is known as a back propagation. Now, there will be a gradient descent which will happen. It means that the algorithm will try to minimize the error. Error will be continuously back propagated in all the neurons and the loss function will be minimized continuously till we get the global minima. This is a global minima. So, when global minima is achieved in loss function, all synaptic weights are estimated. Now, how we can run the neural network in rapid minor? Let's see. Now, I will activate it. 
the data set from here, local repository data. I'll bring hardware data and I'll connect the spline into the result. I'll press the play button. And you can see here the variables which are there, also known as attributes in Rapid Miner. The gender is there, sex, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting BS, resting ECG, max HR, exercise, old pig, ST slope, and a patient is having a heart disease or not. Now, on the basis of these attributes which are there, we want to classify that what are the factors which contribute to the heart disease. So I'll go in design and now I'll activate the operator which is known as select attributes. I'll simply drag it and drop it here. Now why this operator is necessary? Let's try to understand. Your data set may be, consi may be consisting of many attributes to create the model. All these attributes are not our matter of interest. And therefore, I'll activate this operator. I'll go here and I'll do the subsetting. Select the attributes from here and I'll select those attributes from which I want to make the model. Those attributes are age, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, heart disease, old peak, and resting blood pressure. Apply. Now I will have to set the role. Neural network comes under the supervised learning technique and therefore it is necessary that you define your target variable. So I'll drop the set role here, activate the operator, make sure that you activate the heart disease, which is a categorical variable on and the target role should be labeled. The next thing which you can do is I can activate the neural network from here. Neural net. This one. I'll drag it and drop it here. And I can simply run the play button. And the neural net has given you the output. Just try to recall the child here, the dog here, and these are all the hidden layers which are there. Now you go in description and you can see on node 1 what is the base of different attributes. So node 1 sigmoid function has been used. So the building block of the Duke neural network is called the sigmoid neuron. Sigmoid neurons are similar to perceptrons but they are slightly modified such that the output from the sigmoid neuron is much smoother than the step functional output from the perceptron and therefore we are using the sigmoid neuron. When the activation function for a neuron, neuron is a sigmoid function, it is guaranteed that the output of this unit will always be between 0 and 1. We have already discussed. If you try to recall here, I had already shown to you that the output of the sigmoid neuron will be between 0 and 1. Bias, which is there, is like the uh, intercept in linear regression. The purpose of the bias is to provide best fit for the given data. Now, interpreting this or weights is a little bit difficult in neural network. But the thing which is important is that when we'll be running the performance uh, performance operator here, we'll be able to obtain the good result. For more videos on Rapid Miner, you can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of RapidMiner. Please don't forget to press the like button.